Glad to have every single one of you guys at the stream. By the way, this is my first stream since a very, very long time. I think I haven't streamed for like years. It's been like five to six years ago when I didn't play Minecraft or Minecraft Dungeons. But um, yes, man, I'm <laughs> looking forward to this DLC. So we've got the Howling Peaks DLC right here. And uh, the first level is the Wind Swept Peaks. I'm not really sure if we want to go for... The maximum apocalypse difficulty. I think we're gonna do a little relaxing uh, difficulty. Let's say apocalypse level uh, seven plus fifteen. That sounds quite challenging already, doesn't it? So um, yeah, <laughs> it's my best live stream so far. Thanks, uh, Sharon. That's for sure. It's the first and best one so far. Um, so yeah, we are preparing ourselves for the windswept peaks. Uh, I do have the goat pet, indeed, that's a good comment, dude. Um, we have the goat pet right here as a new pet, so you can get your hands on it if you buy the Howling Peaks DLC. So let's uh, check out my inventory right here. So we have a parrot pet, pretty cool one. Uh, we have the baby chicken, we have the arctic fox, actually my favorite, but now we also have the baby goat. This one is included with the Howling Peaks DLC. I thought there was also going to be a pig, a pig pet, but... Um, it's not there right now. I thought if you bought the season pass, then everything was going to be included. But um, maybe it's going to be added in the future. I don't know. Maybe it's not going to be added at all. But um, I think the goat pet is already a pretty cool addition, guys. Oh, <laughs> Zoniki, thank you very much for uh, for your contribution to the channel. That's very, very awesome. So, um, of course, I'm going to try to keep it up. Um, guys, let's go for it, right? I mean, you, you guys are all waiting for... Uh, me to actually play the DLC, so um, I think we should give it a go. I mean, uh, this is the top. We have the locked mission right there. That's the final mission, probably. And then we also see this one right there, a locked mission. So that is probably the secret level, or actually, secret level could be hidden somewhere around these parts as well. So, um, man, oh man, I'm super excited. I haven't touched the game yet, so um, let's check it out. We also have a new sword dropping right here, as well as a new piece of armor, then two new artifacts. In total, I think they're gonna be like four new artifacts. So um, this is gonna be awesome, guys. The shards from the Orb of Dominance still wreak havoc on the overworld. I'm gonna shut up right here, by the way, mountain peaks so you guys can follow. Howling storms scour the path to the summit, and unless the shard is destroyed, these winds will become the storm that blows out the last flicker of hope for this world. Okay, <laughs> that was a short one, but... Um... This is gonna be great stuff, guys. I'm actually gonna turn the brightness down a little bit on my laptop because it's standing next to me, so I can follow you guys. And what this guy? This is not my god, man. <laughs> oh, wait a second. They actually attack me. Okay, so we have a new thing right here. Grants resistance to pushbacks and melee damage. So uh, we're currently with the verdant rope I was uh, showcasing yesterday with that armor. This is actually a pretty cool brew, guys. Look at the effects around me. But um, I'm gonna equip something that will make us a little bit tankier. We're not gonna equip OP armor, guys. We're just gonna go with, for example, the stalwart armor with cowardice, chilling snowball. This is gonna hit enemies very hard. Oh, well, what's this? Special event item. Okay, this is something that they added to the game, I guess. We could go with the hungry horror, melee attack speed, weapon damage boost. Uh, 171 is actually really cool. Let's just go with this one because it's unique to um, the seasonal trials as well. So uh, we're just gonna... Let these guys go, man. I mean, whoa, we can actually go that way. It looks like a secret path, secret passage. We have to be careful for the wind. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I'm getting owned right here straight away. Okay, so we're going to have to do this differently. Wow, I didn't know that wind was going to be that strong, actually. You can also just speed run in there with a... Oh, look at that, with a cape. It's super powerful, actually. You can just take the chest right here. That's That's everything. We will be able to take this right here. The level is entirely new for me, guys, so uh, don't be too harsh on me. But it looks like with a ghost cape, you will be able to pass through the wind without a problem. So if you don't have any wind resistance, which you can actually get your hands on in this game, then um, the ghost cape will be perfect. I'm just gonna do a relaxed playthrough, guys. If you if you want me to speed things up, just let me know. I actually just wanted to look at all the things 
But then due to the game. Because it looks like we've got a pretty big map. I also have to check out the secrets actually. So uh, we have seven chests and one secret. I think the secret is gonna be this, uh, the secret level. Because that's usually the case on the DLCs. By the way, I'm a little bit focused on the game itself right now. I should check out chat in a second. I should make an overlay or something, which makes it a little bit easier for to follow you guys. So I'm not really sure why they still added frozen zombies to this one. Of course, it's logical with windswept peaks. We're high in the mountains, but uh, we've got some closed doors right here. Oh, okay. An event, survive the ambush. <laughs> this is not going to be too difficult. Hey, Mark22, why, why you say I'm lucky? What do you mean? With with my armor or... Trying to focus on two things at the same time. That's new for me. <laughs> but uh, I guess on this difficulty we will be just fine, guys. Oh, is that the secret level? Really? Oh, that's cool. Uh, I haven't checked it yet, so um, it's gonna be nice. Okay, we've got some electrified mobs right here. Actually, I should take no speed ring gear because look at my HP right now. I actually have to go with something else. Because I hear some electrified fast attack. Oh, Lord. Actually. Quickly take him down, then everything is fine. So let me just take maybe... Well, Kong of Weakening is not going to be necessary, but I'm going to take my Ironhide Amulet. The secret level is hard to get, apparently. It's like Soggy Cave. All right, that's nice. The Tempest Golem is 10 to 12 blocks tall. Oh boy, that is going to be crazy. And yes, Pop, I do have the Season Pass. I just bought it, so um, I'm really looking forward to every single DLC that are... It is coming up. So these are the new pillager guys where you have the pillager or pillager's bane for. I'm gonna use my escape every now and then. Oh, we do have isologers right here as well. The chillagers. I think chillagers sound so much better, man. Open the cave. Okay, I think we're actually following the objective right now. We should not do that. So let me just quickly... Uh, take something with super speed, guys. This one right here. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna take my Boots of Swiftness. We're gonna have to search for the other location. Open the cave pass. We have to go this way. I'm not really sure. Okay, there are two cave passes right there. And there are so many places. What the hell, man? Look at that. We can visit all of these places. I actually have to check out another part of the map. I'm gonna use a little bit of speed reading right here. Okay. There's an event right here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that was cr scary. I was about to go down right there because with this speed ring gear, I'm so squishy, man. But uh, I can do a lot of damage as well because... Oh, boy. I permanently have my... Oh, we have a double X right there. But yeah, I permanently have my death cap mushroom available and bam. Oh, we actually died. Okay, I'm gonna... Take this piece of armor. It's gonna be <laughs> way, way better. And we actually teleported out of the. What? That is super strange. So, um. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we are supposed to deal with this right now. I think we found the first bug in the DLC. But I do have a trick for this, guys. Um. Actually, we have to search for something. So, ah, oh, we can, we, we can shoot them like this. Guys, this is, <laughs> this is already bad advertisement. I mean, we aren't allowed to continue. I actually have to reset the map right here. So, um, that's bad, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. Just short pain. Let me read the chat for a second. Oh yeah, Apocalypse Plus. We already have Apocalypse Plus for ages right now, but, um... Let me just focus on a good piece of armor, no speed running, just all this. 
And we're just going to go back to the Island Realms, which is what peaks. Let's say 15 once again. I think that was a nice difficulty. What is the recommended, actually? So we have a Gear North of Power 60 to 68. That's still nothing different, really. I thought they were going to add some extra difficulty and power levels to the game. But um, let me recheck for a second. It's bigger than the Jungle Abomination, Kieran. It looks very hard. What's your best build? Well, I have many builds, guys. Many different builds for many different situations, actually. So um, what I'm currently going to do is just a, a casual build, one of the many, actually, with uh, this piece of armor. Actually, with a Ghost Cape, we were able to travel through this. I'm going to double check this. Oh, well, there, <laughs> there was no wind, so of course, then it won't be possible. All right, let's check it out once again for the people who missed it. Okay, it does reduce the pushback. That is really nice. All right, let's equip back my Gong of Weakening. I'm just going to do it relaxing uh, right now. No speedrun gear, nothing. I already said that <laughs> at the beginning, but uh, it's it's just so tempting to use it. And right now, I probably don't have the secret. Oh, that is too bad. That is too bad. But that's fine. We're going to do the secret another time, guys. I'm going to first play the level, see every single thing, and then afterwards we can replay it, of course. I plan to stream for a while, though, so uh, we're not going to end anytime soon. I'd like to show you guys the Tempest Golem himself, the boss fight. I did use my Iron Hide right there, but uh, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. So right now, this is the only passage I can take in WoW, this Creeper, though. Oh, there's three of them right now. Okay. Sweet. Boy, oh boy. What do you guys think about the graphics, the, the looks, the texture pack on this uh, new map? I think it's pretty awesome. I'm going to use my Iron High right here. Because these guys can hit a ton, man. Still, though, this piece of armor is so nice. A lot of attack speed, attack damage. Find the cave. I think the Tempest Golem has more health than the Mushroom Monstrosity. Oh, damn, that's gonna be difficult. <laughs> the Mushroom Monstrosity already has a lot of HP. And Zadiki, thank you for uh, for saying that. That really means a lot to me. I do indeed put a lot of effort in my videos. And currently, Minecraft Dungeons is pretty small. Um, if you compare it with Minecraft, the regular Minecraft, it's, it's like a baby game right now. But I think there is great stuff coming up for this game. Not only the DLCs, but actually also um, some more free content, some end game content that will allow us to do so much great stuff together. Maybe some endless mode runs. That would be so cool to see. Oh boy. That's why you want to have the Ironhide Amulet and uh, the Gong of Weakening at the same time. If you combine that, you are so tanky. Hey, look at that, guys. We found ourselves some climbing gear. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> it's It looks really funky. And uh, it actually has two new enchantments as well. We also found this bow. It doesn't have any new enchantments, but this guy right here. Look at that. We've got Death Barter. The first set amount of emeralds collected are stored and then spent to save the player from death. Cost 50 emeralds. Okay, on tier 3, that is pretty interesting. And then multi-roll grant extra. <gasps> oh, dude. I actually, <laughs> I actually want to try this out. How cool would it be to have the multi-roll? Then also Acrobat to reduce the cooldown on your rolls. I think it's going to be way, way overpowered, man. This next year will be great for Minecraft and Minecraft Dangerous. Oh, yes. The Cliffs and Mountains update is going to be... I mean, the, the Mountains and Caves. Cliffs and Caves. Man, I always uh, confused with these uh, things. But um, it's going to be great stuff for both games indeed. So we've got four rolls. Let's check this one out, guys. Oh, okay. It's actually charged. So um, the cooldown is the same, but you can store four of them. 
So let's uh, give that a go. One, two, three, four. But it does reset the cooldown while it's doing that. So Acrobat plus this thing, guys, is gonna be insane. I'm not gonna use this piece of armor right now, but I think it does look pretty funky. It's the common armor. The upgraded one is the Mountain Goat armor. We'll be able to see that pretty soon as well. I hope to get my hands on it today, so I'll be able to make a video about it as well. So um, let's first visit some of these parts. Ouch. I was checking out the chat for a second. <laughs> it's quite difficult to do both things at the same time, really. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear some angry mobs. We've got many guys coming up right here. And, oh, where's my baby goat, actually? I think it disappeared. And equip, equip. There we go. And we just found the stuff. Nothing too fancy. But we might be able to see some new enchantments on these weapons. Would be cool. Bam. Why oh, they just keep popping up, man? Speed lugger armor. I think that's it for this. Actually, I could go with a bow that actually increases my movement speed with the uh, Tempo Theft. Or this is already the Tempo Theft one. I'm gonna have to go that way, but I'm actually going south right now. To check out what's here. Also have some llamas walking around. Pretty nice, guys. Yeah, multi-roll indeed is a little bit like the feathers, but if you combine them, guys, what the hell, you can do some crazy stuff. Oh, this is actually the place we already visited is the start, but the reason why I wanted to go to this place is because I saw some unrendered map uh, areas, but that's fine. Just gonna go to the objective. Welcome to the <laughs> Windswept Peaks. That's such a cheap description for a level, if you ask me. Oh, boy. By the way, um, can you guys actually hear the level, the game itself? Is it is it loud enough, or do I have to put the volume up a little bit? Oh, wait a second. I saw something. Oh, never mind. It's gone. It's good. It's pretty good. All right, that's fine. Let's open up the caves, guys. Cave bosses. Whoops. That was a misclick. Oh, there we have a new weapon, guys. The Tempest Knife. That's cool. We're gonna check it out in a second. But wow, the baby goat is so small. It's, it's super small in comparison with the other mobs. And this one is close right now, obviously. So we're gonna have to... Uh... Oh, we just got knocked down, but I actually wanted to go down as well, so that's fine. Uh-oh. Right now we're gonna roll a little bit. Oh, we found some berries. It's also a new item in the game. It does look like this is locked. Actually, I think we have to go up there in order to... Oh, whoa, 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 look at this. <laughs> that's so weird. I'm gonna move my laptop a little bit, guys, so I can read the chat a little bit easier. Give me a second. This is tricky stuff. Let's not break my setup right here. I'm gonna put it right on my monitor. Benjo Cabral, you need to hack. Mm. 
Not sure if I'm going to do that. <laughs> I am not a big fan of hacking, really. Okay, so right now we're going to have to go upstairs, get that second trigger. Yeah, 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 I should check the knife, sorry. Um, let's just deal with these mobs first. Oh, and Apocalypse, they just keep reviving, man. So annoying. All right, uh, let's check out the knife. So we just found this guy right here. Speed burst after mob defeated. This knife slices through enemies like the wind that cuts between the mountain tops. Okay. And we did find some other things as well. This one doesn't have any new enchantments. Oh, this one does. Look at that. This is Illager's Bait, also pretty cool. It will have the new enchant, probably. If you find a weapon, you should use that. Yeah, I could actually use the weapon. Uh, 151. I don't think it's going to be f super powerful, but um, let's check it out. So we have the speed burst after a mob defeated. I'm also going to take... Let's first check out the attack speed of it. Ooh, this is pretty cool, man. It's actually a little bit faster than the sword. Looks pretty cool. Look look at it with the... With the death cap mushroom, it attacks super fast. So maybe we should go with something like the busy bee. 40% chance to summon a bee, so be pretty funky. And also maybe thundering, because it is already pretty fast. Wow, that's gonna be nice. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I totally forgot about the wind. But, um, can we actually go back up? I think not. We're going to have to do a little detour, but that's fine, guys. So we do have a little chamber right there. I'm not sure how we can get there, though. Did this open? Looks like it's open right now or not. I don't know. Okay, right now we're gonna not screw this up. Oh, that was close. <laughs> this one doesn't have. Oh, that's the rush down. Okay, see, I get like a little bit of extra movement speed. That's cool. It's not too crazy. And it's like for a very, very short time. Not sure if I'm a big fan of it. I'm actually going to use my Fighter's Bindings right here because this is going to be a summon event. I'm going to need to get my hands on some heals, guys. Because the dagger is cool, but um, it's not very nice for survivability, especially not on Apocalypse Plus. All right. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> a chest spawns. Wow, look at the background, guys. This is some really cool stuff. I really like it because it does give you this immersive feeling. The wind is a little bit cheap, though, but um, I like what's happening down there. All right, let's check this room to the northeast. This is nothing. There are no secrets on this map, so... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Many mobs all of a sudden on this little piece of land. That's strange. Poor goat, though. Okay, we don't have anything right here. Gonna go for that uh, entrance, guys. Oh, man, I can't wait to get inside. I think the interior of this new map is gonna be super awesome to see. I'm just gonna jump down somewhere. I'm just gonna... Oops. Damn, taking a lot of fall damage. But I do want to check out what's happening right here, though. For some reason... I didn't see it. Oh, no, my... My God, what did we do? What did we do? We actually have to go that way. We actually have to go that way. But seriously, though... How did I get back up? I just keep screwing up right here. Okay, I'm gonna equip some speed ring gear for a second. It's going to be a little bit easier to check out what's going on. All right, there we have it. This is a new level, guys, so it's also new for me. 
Aha, there we have it. Don't think there's going to be anything right here, but uh, still cool to check it out, right? We have a little room. With only just mobs. There might be secrets spawning in these parts, if you're lucky. Yeah, we don't need anything right here. But man, oh man, the <laughs> movement speed on this verdant rope is so awesome. Look at it. It's it's like a Ferrari, guys. If you for, didn't see my video of yesterday yet, then you should definitely check it out. I think it will even uh, ruin the quality of the stream. Is for it bought the season pass? Yes, I did. I bought every single uh, DLC, pretty much. Three of them, of course, will not be uh, available until they get released. But uh, the first one is already here at Howling Peaks. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. So uh, let's put back this armor. Where is it? There we go. Oh! Sometimes you take damage when you re-equip armor. That's pretty weird, man. Um, I'm actually looking for my gong. Oh, there it is. Hacking is illegal. Oh, yes, it is. So now we're inside in a cave. Wow, this one looks cool, man. Definitely gonna do some uh, some cool shots right here for my videos. Not sure why there is wind inside the cave, though. Oh, what? Explore the cave. It says I have to go this way. That is so strange. And we've got 13 chests, guys. That's so many. Okay, you guys actually heard the music a little bit. Oh! We could push down right here. That's fine, that's fine. It's actually not a very long way. Trying to get used a little bit to this wind mechanic. I think you just have to wait a little bit until it's gone. Or while well, this looks permanent. Oh no, it's not. Maybe you go to beat Holly Peaks to get the other three. Well, I think you don't have to do that. I think it's very optional to um, just... Choose whatever DLC you want to play. If you, of course, take the season pass, you will get access to all DLCs when they get released. But um, just like with every single DLC, they're all just separately accessible, let's say. So if you just want to play the Howling Peaks, you could go for Howling Peaks. If you want to play the Nether, you can just play that without actually having to buy the Howling Peaks itself. So if you don't like a certain DLC, then um, just skip it and go for another one. But I think it's definitely worth it for... I mean, in my country, it's in euros. 20 euros is probably $20 in the uh, US. For four DLC, it's a pretty cool price. And this also helps the developers a little bit to um, bring out some more free content, right? I mean, you, you, you want to give them some extra things in order to uh, work on the free content as well. Because the labor of people <laughs> for actually bringing out free content it does cost time, and time is money, really. If we all just support the game a little bit, I guess, then uh, we can definitely definitely get our hands on some very awesome free uh, updates as well. Man, this cave is pretty big. I don't know where to start every time. I can actually just skip these mobs, really. I do want to check out this area. Wow, these guys are nasty. Uh-oh. I don't want to get pushed in there. How much does it cost to get all the DLCs? Well, that's, that's 20 euros. Uh, so that's actually five euros or twenty dollars uh, five dollars each and if you buy them separately It's gonna be six dollars. So just one dollar more So it won't be that much more for just one single DLC What weapon am I using um, I am currently using fighters bindings. Let me show them to you guys in a second So uh, here we have the fighters bindings power level 169 critical hit and then we also have the Swirling and the Radiance. I think this is the best combo that you can get your hands on because it will deal a lot of damage and at the same time also will allow you to do some AoE damage and heal yourself constantly because this, yeah, 
I don't know, man. If you if you're playing on Apocalypse, you definitely want to have some heals going on 24/7. If you don't have a lot of heals, then sometimes you can get destroyed by some of those mobs with thorns, for example. Well, Shockwave is is very nice, actually. I really like Shockwave. But um, if you want to play with Shockwave, I'd suggest to play with another weapon. For example, the Soul Fists or the uh, the the Maulers. Actually, I have one with me right now that actually has the Shockwave, uh, the Thundering, and the Shockwave. You can test out both both of those. And my laptop just went to screensaver mode. What the hell is going on? Let me just fix this for a second. Don't kill me, please. Ah, oh, there we go. By the way, guys, um, big thanks for being here at Premiere. If you enjoy watching uh, the stream, definitely make sure to subscribe because there is a lot more coming. I mean, I make videos almost on a daily for Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, but uh, I plan to do some streaming in the future more as well. This is actually my first stream in years so um yes it is new for me i'm gonna make a cool overlay maybe in the future also with face cam i don't know actually really like it this way because then you guys can focus on the actual gameplay itself but um yeah make sure to subscribe if you enjoy watching it and of course uh, hit that like button it is very very much appreciated so um let's check out the other weapons i brought with me so we've got some fighters bindings right here um bu -bu -bum. where are Soul Fists. There we have him. So these have Shockwave, Thundering and Radiance. Actually what I really like because this one is so fast is go with Crit. Thundering because this has a 30% chance to summon a Lightning Strike. So uh, w since you're attacking like super fast it will happen quite often. And then uh, the Radiance because of course you will be able to heal yourself constantly. So uh, let's test this out. This is going to be pretty cool. Okay. There we go. Look at the lightning strikes, man. They just keep popping up. And if you combine this with a ranged weapon with Adama Conduit, you can actually heal yourself constantly. Oh, we're gonna have to b fight the big guys this time. <laughs> Look at the lightnings, guys. It's literally destroying our enemies. Okay, right now I'm actually gonna back off a little bit. I'm gonna take this weapon with the... Uh, I can't do it. There we have it. See? So this will allow us to heal a little bit. Oh, we have to save the llamas. Funky. Welcome to the windswept peace. Explore the cave still. Oh, these guys have uh, thorns. They are nasty. That is why you want to get your hands on the on the Radiance guys. Wow, this is such a long road actually. Do I have to do something? I can click these buttons. Then I'll just release these bad guys. Okay. Okay, they hit pretty hard, but um Nothing we can't handle, right? Oh that was a crazy earthquake thingy right there. That was weird. Just releasing the llamas. I'm not really sure if we actually have to do this. New items are pretty nice. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I haven't found many of them. I did see the Tempest knife dropping already. Um, I'm actually gonna swap to another weapon. Back to the b -b 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 Fighter's Bindings. <laughs> if you gong these guys, they are down in a second. There we go, we've got some Spelunker armor. Still not sure why we had to save the llamas. I think it doesn't really do anything. Maybe it is spawning the chest at the end, that's why. We just have to clear all the llamas and destroy the ravagers as well inside their caves. And we're back inside. Outside, sorry. Can we unlock the village mission if... Exploding any good? Hmm, exploding is cool. 
but um, I think it's not very nice because of its delay. Uh, what I really like is having instant and constant damage. With explosion, there is like a huge delay, like one or two seconds, and sometimes it's making it quite useless in my opinion. And here we have the bully cows, guys. Do they actually fight back? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. This guy is a little bit afraid of me. I would be afraid too. Okay, so we have to go upstairs, I guess. Wow, this zombie is super annoying. You checked. Howling Peaks is not on your PS4. Um, you should definitely uh, first check if you have actually successfully bought it, of course, because it's not a free DLC. It's not free content. It is a paid DLC. So um, you definitely have to buy it first on the PlayStation Store. And then... Um, oh, wait a second. We have to press two buttons right here. And then we have to update your game as well. My PC. PS4, I had to search for the update of the game to get the update. Alright, Tacticals. That is awesome. Not really sure if we will be able to find anything right here. Let's just check the other way around. Oh, we can go even higher! Or what is this? I am not certain what this is all about. Thank you, we just wasted some time. I'm in the same place as you, lol. Oh, cool, you're watching the stream and playing yourself at the same time. That is, that is nice. All right, we're gonna have to press this button, I guess. What the hell is going on? I have no idea. What, what do you guys think I have to do right here? Oh, wow. 4 am really. <laughs> These buttons are literally explain you where you go. You go down, you go up, you go down, you go up. That's that simple, really. Okay. So guys, don't make the same mistake as I did. It was pretty, pretty stupid. Okay, we. I'm not really sure if we can actually go there, maybe later. This guy. Oh, cool. The map generation right here is so funky. It does look a little bit weird, though. There we go. Come on. How awesome would it be, guys, if we can actually find some of that uh, unique armor straight away and the unique weapons? We just search those chests. I think we have a chance of finding some right here. Oh, wait a second. I'm getting pushed. I'm getting pushed. I actually wanted to... Oh, well. There are no chests right there. Let me just pick up these. That guy is down below us. I think we're going to have to go to another path in order to get it. But this chest is still there. Ooh, that creeper <laughs> doesn't know what's coming for him. And now we can open the door. That's nice. Okay, this is super annoying with the wind. Oh, I was checking the stream. Can you get free updates for all the Howling Peaks? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Guys, look at this. <laughs> where, where am I right now? Oh, boy. I think we're stuck. <laughs> How much is the DLC? It's uh, $5, 5 euros if you buy the season pass. And um, if you buy it separately, it's going to be $6 or six, 6 euros. Yes, I am definitely going to roll. It's going to kill me, though. But, uh, oh, wait a second. No way. We went all the way down right here. That's weird. <laughs> we actually survived the fall because of our uh, Ironhide amulet. Um, yes. Oh, okay. I can, I can call in the, the elevator just like this. Go to the chest from there. Oh, sorry. Actually, can I get the chest from here? That is cool. Let me just equip some speed ring gear quickly. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is my beloved cloak, man? Can't find it right here. What the hell? Hmm. 
Man, am I blind? Okay, with a potion berry is gonna be better. So you say you have to take the chest from here. Maybe it's this secret or something? Can okay, we go in here? Oh, we do have some of these. Could have chests. So people are saying I can't take the chest from here, so I'm gonna have to figure out how exactly. So these guys are standing right there. I'm not sure how to get up there, but uh, let me figure this out. If you know how to do it, just let me know. So there is some green stuff right there. Okay. I think you won't be able to get up here. Guys, I'm just gonna... Just gonna get back up. I think that's gonna be better. We're just gonna go to level one first. When you fall to the ledge and roll down, you could have walked on the ledge. Green is low. Yeah, green is... Uh, the, the dark green is low and then you have the whites. There's three different levels, actually. This one doesn't have anything too fancy. So we have to go to the top level. So... Hmm... We can fall down right here, but it's... Guys, it's not gonna work out because you see the wall right there. Oh, we can jump down here though. Gonna do it just like that. Oh, wow, we actually survived the fall. <laughs> Let's try that again. I think it would be possible just like this. With Potion Bearer, man, you can survive everything. What do you think about the Tempest Golem size? Mm, well, I haven't uh, seen him yet, so we're about to find out pretty soon. All right, there we go. Where is a good place for some good dagger farming? Well, this one is pretty cool because we have the Tempest Dagger knife sword thingy. It has the speed burst after a mob defeat, so um, you could get your hands on that one. But um, if you want to go for pure daggers, then I'd say uh, the Soggy Cave is really awesome. Right now we will be fine for most damage with a potion bear and a speed ring gear itself. I still want to try to get my hands on the chest, but oh, it's gonna be tough, man. Oh! What the hell happened? Okay, we can jump to the other part. But there's also an elevator. I think we have to take the elevator to go down. Sorry guys, I'm screwing up a little bit right here, but uh, trying to figure out uh, what's going on. Maybe we just have to check out every single uh, location on the top floor. You cannot get the Howling Peaks for uh, free, no. It's a it's a paid DLC, so uh, you have to buy either the D DLC itself or buy the entire season pass. I think it's definitely worth it for uh, $20 or 20 euros to get your hands on four DLCs. And I really like this one so far. Need help to join in your Minecraft server because it keeps not allowing me to join the server. I'm... Hmm... It's, it's an online thingy, so um, if you're not playing with a real account, then it's gonna be a problem. Also, for now, it's not possible to do the... Uh, oh, what's this? Just have to click that button, really. That's why. We just have to kill this guy. And then we unlock the elevator, right? Or where are the mobs? Just have a couple of them right here. Ah, that's it. Oh, man. <laughs> We've been screwing around for a while right here. But um, 
This is just gonna bring us to the chest, really. Where are you from? Well, I'm from uh, the Netherlands. I currently live in Belgium, though. So, um, I've been living in Belgium for almost my entire life, actually. Can you hear it by my accent, or is it difficult to guess? Yeah, it's the same as the hero pause, indeed. So we can find the secret. Oh, we just have to click the button. Oh my god, this is so easy, guys. We also have another thing right there, but that's just to call, call in the elevator. Look at that! It's that simple, guys. We just found another tempest knife. So uh, this one, oh, it has double prospector. That is pretty cool. It's just a common one, though. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use it. So I'm from the nether, yes. <laughs> I'm from the netherlands. That's epic, dude. I'm definitely from the netherlands. Let's go up once again. No, 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 I'm not American and thanks for liking my accent. It's, it's a little bit weird, maybe. Or different, I don't know. But I guess it's cool to hear different accents. In in our country, we have so many accents. It's crazy. It's like, in uh, it's like 300 kilometers wide and 150 kilometers in height. Let's say. Um, <laughs> and really, we have a lot about 30, 40, 50 accents, maybe even more. Um, we have to enter this place, or I don't know, man. Just figuring out once again what we have to do. Okay, we do have to go in there somehow. Just follow the water or something like that? No, 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 no. It's... Oh, we have to go up once again, I guess. Yes, there we go. Can you say something in, uh, in Dutch? Nuki has said. Yeah, that's correct, man. Geen enkel probleem. So that was Dutch, guys. <laughs> I can also speak uh, French, a peu de français. C'est pas possible, c'est pas difficile. And um, Spanish, Dutch, uh, German, just a little bit. Ein Bier bitte. Bratwurst mit Bohne. <laughs> That's such bad things, really. Oh, look at the damage, man. This guy hits so bad. How many languages could you speak? Mm. And not too many, actually. And, and I really don't master those languages big time. It's just mainly English, Dutch, and French. And then Flemish, pretty much, which is uh, the Dutch variant, which we speak in, in Belgium. So it sounds quite familiar, but it's a, it's a different accent or well. Flemish, there are like many different Flemish accents, but you get the point, it's similar. Oh, these guys might kill me, or not. Okay, that's fine. And this, this guy was the place we saw in the Minecraft live video, so people got knocked in here. Which I'm gonna try to do myself as well, or actually not. With a potion bear, they cannot knock me in. Sweet. All right, we're gonna have an event right here. Double event, actually. And we haven't seen the wind colors yet, so I'm looking forward to those bad guys. Uh oh, many mobs, many mobs. Was actually trying to watch the chat for a second, but uh, I'm gonna have to focus a little bit longer. And there we have them, guys. The wind colors, and then take them down so easily. Man, fighters binding with death cap mushroom is so much fun, really. Hey, dude, what do you do after you finish apocalypse mode? Well, we just keep doing apocalypse, I guess. Oh, we just found a unique guys, a cursed axe. We already have this one though. It's a cool weapon with the exploding. 
if you finish Apocalypse, you could just go to a higher Apocalypse level and if you finish that, you could just make yourself a hardcore survival series, for example, like I'm doing. By the way, for the people uh, who are quite curious when I'm going to upload my next episode, probably later today or tomorrow, it would be cool to do a Howling DLC level on the hardcore survival series as well. So, um, let me check this one right here. Defeated mobs explode. Critical hit, swirling, and radiance. Oh, this guy almost killed me. Have you ever played the Between Lands mod? I haven't, to be honest. And when is the next stream? Well, <laughs> the next stream, this is the first one. So I first have to see if you guys like it when I'm actually streaming. If you guys think like, oh, for am you. Your streams are horrible. Please never stream again then. I won't stream again. I promise. And I am not really sure, but my laptop just keeps going on uh, on sleep mode. While the stream is on. That's so strange. What are your thoughts on the new illagers? Mm. Well, they're cool. They're really cool. I, I like the wit colors as well. And the Illager's Bane enchantment is definitely going to be super useful on this uh, DLC. I'm just going to roll down right here, take down these bad boys. Okay, we're going to have to walk around, I guess. <laughs> with, this with this gear, guys, I'm so fast. What the hell? Okay, we won't be able to enter this one. Okay, we just found some climbing gear. How am I supposed to enter this place? Open the gate, the roof of the world. Can we just stand right here? I think I'm just gonna glitch it, man. That's how we do it. I'm actually gonna put this one a little bit more in front, so I'll be able to equip it a little bit easier as well. Where's your pet goat? Yeah, my pet goat is super small, man. I just keep losing track of it as well. And bam, there we have it. I'm not sure if we are supposed to do this, but uh, I just wanted to enter the cave. There we go. Just a challenge for the Between Lands. Well, I haven't played it yet. I really don't know what it is, but I guess I'll just Google it and uh, then I might be able to do your challenge. By the way, if you have challenges for the Hardcore Survival Series or just things to recommend for the channel in general also make sure to leave them in the comments down below because i do read the chat right now but uh, i might forget things because many of you guys are chatting right there it's awesome to have every single one of you guys at the premiere though it's it's very good stuff thanks for the support i think now it's time to Make some progress in this level. I mean, we are doing this level casually. It's speedrunned, but um, I'd like to see every single thing right here. So far, it looks pretty epic. But um, I am really looking forward to that secret level, really. So that's one that we're definitely going to focus on searching in the, in the next one. Okay. Like a prison right here. Do you know the Squall Golem has less than half health than the Redstone Golem? Oh, that's crazy, but they also move super fast, so they're pretty much me on speedrun gear. I think they deal a lot of damage, but uh, they're pretty squishy as well. That's just like how I'm working right now with uh, the Verdant Robe. If you want to go with speed, then you have to sacrifice some survivability, of course. Oh, I won't be able to end. What the hell is this? We have to trick jump this once again. Let's check it out with the feathers, guys. I think we will be able to do so. There's always a way. Mm, I'm not sure about it. Oh! Oh! 
guys, we just owned it once again. Oh my god. Man, I just keep finding ways. Is this the exit? <laughs> It is not impossible to find secret because it has a 50% chance to be secret level. Okay. I'm not sure what I did right here. Oh, well, it's just another place. It's the same location, really. Just a very huge square. Open the gate, the roof of the world. All right. Get a little spawning event right here. And oh, some more climbing gear. Nice. I have to check out the gear pretty soon, guys. Just taking down all these mobs quickly. Wow. They <laughs> keep reviving. That is Apocalypse, guys. The third life of Apocalypse. Only play the level two or three times and go to all the places and boom, the secret level is yours. Oh! We actually just found it. Mission unlocked, Colossal Rampart. Easy peasy. <laughs> Epic. All right. I can't find the secret level. Minecraft Dungeons, what? Okay. Oh my god, it's Howling Peaks. Yes, Tropics Gaming, it's Howling Peaks. How awesome. Okay, so... Um, we're gonna have to... Huh? I'm not really sure what we have to do right here. So we have another entrance right there. We found 16 of the 19 chests, so that's already a ton of them. Oh, we have to go up here? No, 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 no. This cannot be correct, man. What the hell is going on? Oh, this is just a secret area. All right. Oh, wow. That was an epic fail. Um... We have to go... Wow, double fail. <laughs> we have to go somewhere else, I guess. We have to go to this area. So I did just go there and find the secret level. That is pretty cool. Oh, come on. They're not making it me any easier right here. We're pretty low in HP. Oh, boy. thought this guy was going to take me down. Oh. There, we got killed by uh, <laughs> our little Ravager friends. They can hit you pretty hard, guys. Be careful for that. Oh, look at that once again, man. Almost insta-kill on Apocalypse. Oh, no, 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 no. What are we doing right here? We just keep getting destroyed, man. Wow, that is some serious failing going on right here. I just focus a little bit. I focus too much on the chat. <laughs> it's a very strong mob. Yes, it is. Yo, those Ravagers are strong. I'm watching the video late and I don't understand that the Enchanter respawned three times. Yeah, they do respawn on the Apocalypse Plus. So the higher the Apocalypse Plus level is, uh, the higher the chance of them to respawn as well. So uh, I think on the Max Apocalypse, it's uh, even 25% chance to respawn. Now we have a potion barrier on still. We can take these bad boys down, right? What I really don't like is when creepers respawn and they tend to do that quite often. So we found some cool things, guys. We found this one as well. Climbing gear with life boost. Each time you extend a life, your maximum health increases. Oh, that's cool. Expand the life. So um, if you die one or two times or three times, doesn't matter your life will be increased, so that is pretty cool. Then with a Death Barter, uh, for the people that missed it with a previous piece of armor, the first set amount of emeralds collected are stored and then spent to save the player from death. So first I have to collect 50 emeralds, and then when I die, well, yeah, I pretty much get revived without losing a life, I guess. Why did you pick up 4am to be your username? Is it because you stay up <laughs> until 4am? That is a very, very good question because um, I actually have no idea. It was like six, seven years ago when I started with YouTube and I 
did play like a lot and I did make evening super late. You could say that I played until 4am many times and even later sometimes 7am when I was in college it was crazy. But um, also I thought it was a pretty original thing. They're, all the people they're going with like uh, Fluffy and Shiny and uh, I don't know man all these uh, sparkly names and then and yeah, with PewDiePie, you have the pew 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 going on. It's all pretty cool and catchy, but I just wanted to go with something laid back, original and, and different in comparison with all the rest, I'd say. It's just a name, right? Oh boy. I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful right here. Oh boy. These guys hit like a truck. We actually have to get our hands on some other gear for this. So uh, I'm gonna take this one. This is going to be better. So what did you expect from... Oh, I actually have to focus a little bit, but what did you expect from Minecraft Dungeons back when you were hyped for the game? Well, I definitely did expect it to be a little bit longer, like most of you guys. Um, I actually completed the level in about... I don't know, uh, the entire level all the levels in about one hour or two three hours max i beat the arc illager um very very quickly actually i was surprised by uh, the small size of it but at the same time it's cool um it doesn't cost like 50 euros uh so it's a it's a small price for a small game but then again they are adding some new uh, content constantly some both free content and paid content the game is going towards a good direction, but they still should listen a little bit to the advice I'm giving from time to time on the Reddit, or I also made some videos of what they should definitely add to Minecraft Dungeons to make the game more interesting also for endgame. For example, uh, you would be able to uh, collect items uh, in the game. For example, when you take down a creeper, it would drop uh, this explosive dust. And if you take down uh, an enderman, it would drop some uh, ender pearls and with those you would be able to craft things for example we just have to turn this one just like that and bam there we go nice we just opened the gate guys i think this is the end of the level bam sweet it's a pretty cool gate as well this is gonna lead us probably to the last level Wow, <laughs> 74 million damage dealt. So we just unlocked the secret level and... Oh, updraft tome. An ancient book filled with eligible glyphs. You feel a strange breeze as you flip through the pages. Oh, thanks for letting me know once again that Apocalypse Plus is available. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I get this um, notification every single time, but we just found, guys, a new artifact. Wow. 104,000 artifact damage, 6 seconds stun duration, 5 targets maximum, an ancient book filled with... Okay. This is a pretty interesting one, I think. Let's also check out the merchants. Maybe they have something of the new DLC. Just gonna do a couple restocks. Until this, no more. I found rugged climbing gear. Yeah, that is the unique I am looking for. Hey, Spying Pro, what's up, man? How are you doing? Glad to have you at the premiere as well. Hmm. Nothing too fancy right here. All right. Who disliked? Yes, there are always... There's always one or, or like two people that dislike my videos. I am not really sure why, but um, just do let him know. My videos always get like at least... 97 to 98 uh, percent like so that is still a, a fail for him i guess i see two dislikes the sus potato sees one well it's nothing guys you guys are putting many many likes against it so uh, it looks very very lame for him poor guy all right so um let's check out some of these enchantments guys oh this one has like all these locked ones. I don't like it. I think we should just salvage all these things. I do want to check out the updraft tome though. It would be really awesome to uh, see what it's capable of. I found so many things. We did like 17 chests or maybe even more. It's also pretty cool that you will be able to find the dual crossbows in this level as well. Because we were only able to find them on the lower temple I think. 
So we did find this one with the multi roll. Spike Pro, if you. Oh, what are the new weapons? Sorry, <laughs> I just salvaged. I just salvaged most of them. I can't check right now because I'm at school. So yeah, we do have one right here with a multi roll. It's pretty cool, but um, it saves up charges. So uh, when I equip this one, also for the people that haven't seen it yet, you can see in the bottom right that my charges are now stacking up. And then um, now we can do four rolls in a row. And um, of course, it will do the cooldown once again. I think with Acrobat, man, the combination of this with Acrobat is going to be insane. You're going to have an insane cooldown reduction on your rolls. You will be able to do many times. So with Mystery Armor with that on it as well would be super awesome. Because, uh, yeah, guys, you know that this is an overpowered piece of armor. The Broken Enchantment. Yeah, it is probably a Broken Enchantment. I think it's going to be just like that. So, um... Just gonna equip this one once again. We have everything set for a new level. So uh, let's go for the Island Realms once again. So we have the Windswept Peaks. We found pretty much everything you can, except for one other artifact. So we will farm for that one pretty soon. What is the sheep doing on the roof? Oh yeah, I don't know, man. The sheep is always there, just eating some grass. It's always hungry, guys. It's never getting off. But uh, if you have the village merchant maximized, then it will look just like this. Also, if you have other merchants upgraded, they will look a little bit differently. Their houses will upgrade a little bit, so that's pretty cool. You can even go to the roof, by the way. With this, you can go on the roof just like that. And if you use enough speed, you can jump on this one as well. So that is pretty nice. Super broken acrobat, multi-roll and dynamo. Oh, yes. The Ocean Monument DLC is going to be really interesting. Do you think the Guardians will have thorns built in? I think they will have it. Because um, everything works a little bit the same like in the regular Minecraft. You have uh, the Endermen in Minecraft Dungeons. They also teleport away. Hey, try the Tome with four cooldowns, please. Oh, yes. I will definitely do that. So let's put this on the first slot. I'm also going to drink a little bit because my throat is getting extremely sore. Whoa. whoa. Wait a second. Why is my... Huh? My power level got nerfed. That's weird, man. Let's... Uh, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to kill Sanctum right here. This is the boss level. And we also have the Colossal Rampart. I actually thought the Colossal Rampart was going to be the final level. But um, what do you guys think I should go for? This one has the Emerald Armor to drop. Which is also going to be uh, the upgraded Opalant Armor. Now this one, though... Oh, we can also find the Emerald Armor and the new type of bow. Okay, okay, this is interesting, man. Oh, this one also does drop the, the new bow. Rampart. You guys want me to go for the rampart? All right. <laughs> rampart, rampart, fight the golem. Oh, so many mixed mixed uh, suggestions. But I think it would be cooler to do the ramparts first because the golem, we should save him for the loss, right? Let's put this on level 15 once again. I think that's nice. Oh, so much spam, guys. Relax, relax. We're just going to do the secret level first. I think this one is not going to take super long. But um, I really wanted to check out this level because it's by design probably the most epic one out there. And <laughs> worry not, guys. Worry not. It's going to... It's not going to take that long, I think. Oh... Okay, we just used the tome, but um, I'm not sure what happened. I think it didn't do anything because the creeper already exploded right before it. My illagers are broken. I have to go right next to them to see him. Hmm. I want to see Mr. Tempest. Did you die for him? Um. No, I just started the level. But uh, in the last level, I did die like two times or so. But, um, or well, I fell down and stuff like that. But uh, let's equip some speed ring gear or maybe just some cool eye reduction gear. So I'll be able to use this tome like more often. This one only has one cooldown. I'm gonna find something with double cool eye reduction on it. That would be nice. Aha, splendid rope. Double cool eye reduction, chilling, melee damage, artifact damage, and cooldown. 
perfect. It's been such a long time since I played with this piece of armor. Okay. That was crazy, man. That was pretty crazy. See? It just instantly kills them. That is so cool. Whoops. Oh, that is sweet, man. I'm gonna love this item, I think. Just gonna... Let's, let's just put it on number three. Put it on the third slot. I hear some electrified mobs, guys. Let's just erase them from the map. How nice would that be? Oops. Oh, okay. I won't be able to insta-kill these guys. Ouch. Okay, the electrified destroyed me. I don't think this is the best piece of armor for it, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. Oops. Let's just focus a little bit more on actually defeating this level because, yeah, it's funny to use this artifact, but um, against those enchanted mobs, it's not going to work out very nicely. Oh, look at that. I won't be able to one-hit kill them, but uh, that's also because it's currently not at the max power level, I guess. Oh, man, it's so cool. Yeah, I did die, but this is not the hardcore survival series. Don't worry, guys. Um, of course, on the Hardcore Survival series, I'm not allowed to die, but uh, right here, oh man. Thank God I can die one day, because it, it's so difficult. Oh, these guys. What the hell? With the Electrified, though. Oh man, I'm just gonna stop playing with Speedring gear. It's, it's not making it any easier. Let's just go with regular gear, guys. Um, there it is. Ever gonna also take this one? For yeah, what's the first thing you think when you read my username? The great Midas. Mm, I don't know. I just think about Midas. It's a insurance company in Belgium, so uh, that's the first thing I talk. Of, I think about. Is it Tom DLC exclusive? I think it is. I think you won't be able to get your hands on it if you uh, if you don't have the DLC. Just like with the Winter's Touch and the Winter's Bow, or the Frost Bow, or the Frosted uh, Levels, I mean the... Uh, how is it called again? The Creeping Winter DLC, that's it. I think this is my favorite DLC so far, guys, really. I so much like the, the environment as well as the, the new mobs. Only think the music on this one is a little bit weird, though. Not sure if you guys can actually hear it. Okay, this wind is permanent. That's annoying. There we go. You say that for every DLC, Jennifer says. Well, that's correct, because I thought the Jungle Awakens DLC was cool, but um, I enjoyed the Creeping Winter way more. But this one, by the looks of it, I think is going to be my new favorite. I think the Jungle Awakens DLC is like the least interesting one. Summon them away once again. Oh, that is so much fun, man. It's a pretty cool... It's a pretty cool new artifact. Definitely gonna try some builds with it, but the delay on it is... not as interesting. Bam! Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, the music is, is a little bit strange. If you guys can hear it. Oh, we just found a unique, guys. Growing stuff. Nice. Let's check it out for a second. Oh, it doesn't have any new enchantments. That's too bad. But uh, still, pretty cool one. Jungle DLC is your favorite. Oh yeah, sure. It, it does have a really awesome environment, but what I don't like about it is all those plants and the, the leaf leaves. I mean, sometimes they feel a little bit broken. Also, you have this uh, poison uh, in the Jungle Awakens, but it only deals one damage, so it doesn't really feel like real potion. Po poison, sorry. 
I'm not a native English speaker, so sometimes I can screw up a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. So do we actually have... Okay, we have one, two, one secret and five regular chests. I haven't seen any chests just yet, but maybe they are going to come pretty soon. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oops. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Leap leaves are pretty interesting. Yes, they are. They are really interesting, especially on Max Apocalypse, guys. And then they literally hit you like a truck. Like the Ravagers, they can one-hit kill you pretty much. I thought we were able to find a chest right here, but that is not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so nice. The tome has a pretty interesting cooldown because I currently have no cooldown reduction on my armor at all, guys. Only takes a couple seconds to recharge. That is really nice. So we don't have anything right here. Interesting and annoying. Oh, yes. <laughs> Leap leaves are definitely both interesting and annoying. You're finishing the whole DLC in like an hour. Wow. Well, um, I could finish the whole DLC in less than an hour, actually, like 30 minutes, if I use speedrun gear. But um, that would be sad. I mean, I went to enjoy this DLC. I rushed through all of them pretty fast when I didn't stream them, of course, both uh, The Creeping Winter and uh, The Jungle Awakens. But right now, I just want to enjoy the stream, enjoy the levels with you guys, with the chat. So uh, that's, I think, a way better way to uh, clear this new... New DLC, pretty much. And then we're gonna start pushing out some content, guys. We're gonna start making some guides for the best enchantments, the best weapons, where to get your hands on them, etc., etc. I'm not really sure what this white thing is doing. Okay. It was just summoning mobs, but uh, it was also shooting some wind. But it didn't really knock me into something dangerous. The glow squid. Oh, please, guys, don't talk about the glow squid. Don't talk about the glow squid. <laughs> I don't like it at all. They shouldn't have voted the glow squid, but um, the dream team went for it. Glow squid is probably going to be super useless. Maybe it's going to make a uh, block that emits light in the darkness and also will allow us to make some new lighting blocks. That would be pretty cool, but um, the isologer would have been so much cooler for uh, for the regular Minecraft, really. I hate glow squid. I think it's... Mm, I don't really hate it. It's just both a moon bloom and a glow squid. They both felt like something that was not really going to add much to the game. While with the Isologer, maybe they could add like the Isowant into Minecraft dungeons. So you would be able to use it in Minecraft. That would just add a new weapon, like the artifact as a weapon. That would be so cool. Right now, we have the, the sword and the axe and, and the tools. And we also have the, the trident and the bow and the crossbow, but really, if we were able to use an ice one in there, that would be, be so cool. At least the goat will come out. Yeah, <laughs> the goat will come out. That's true. We will have goats. I think they will be nice. Maybe they're going to drop a new kind of leather. Okay, we have to take, uh, a, take a key. Okay, we can enter this. This is a strange place, guys. We just have to solve more puzzles right here. Bye-bye. Sweet. So we just press this button. I hear something. I heard a gate. I think we opened something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe there's going to be a key somewhere. Ah, oh, we have the golem right there, but seriously, I think we have to... Huh? Okay, this is weird, man. So, we're not allowed to enter this place. 
It opened one gate though. Do we have something else right here? Oh, we have something else. Dude, <laughs> that was pretty well hidden actually. And there is another one. So in total there's gonna be four. So we're just gonna have to press this button. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> I'm reading it in the chat right now. You guys are probably focused on it a little bit more than I am. Just focusing on reading the chat, playing the game, all these things at the same time. But um, we find it GG. We also have the Royal Guards popping up right here. Okay. This is the last place. Look at that. That's so sweet, man. <gasps> oh, Fortress Spear. Nice. Maybe this guy is gonna have some new enchantments added to it. That's so cool. By the way, for the people that don't have the Howling Peaks DLC, you can get your hands on those new enchantments as well. So if you like some of them, then just go and start farming for Giju, guys, because they will be added to the new uh, enchantment pool. What's this? Okay, okay. We're solving the puzzle, guys. It's not that hard. I think we got it right. Did we get it right? Oh. Now we have to click the button. There we go. No chests, though. Seriously. I'd like to find more chests, actually. Now we have to go all the way back via these doors. Et voila, there we have it, the golden key. I won't be able to get the Howling Peaks DLC currently. Why uh, spy stupid Microsoft? Hmm. Well, for me it worked. Maybe we have to restart the game or something like that. Just reading the chat for a second. Oh, guys, Witball, Witball. Sweet. So this is the new bow, guys. Charged arrows pull in enemies. So it's a gravity built-in enchantment. That is pretty cool. But um, by the enchantment slots right here, you can tell that this one is not going to see much use. I think I'm going to salvage it pretty soon. But I will just stick to it for now. It will be nice to showcase maybe in a future video. Howling Peaks isn't included in Hero Edition. No, 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 it's not. The Hero Edition and the Season Pass are two different ones. What's your favorite mob? Um, my favorite mob is... Oh, that's so difficult, man. I like these new uh, wind colors so far. The red verger is also pretty nice, but they're a little bit scary as well. Oh, boy. I cannot even one-hit kill them. And uh, how do you rate the new DLC, really? Because you say... Uh, from 0 to 10, what's your score on the Howling Peaks? But I haven't played the entire Howling Peaks DLC yet, so let's wait a little bit more. I'll just share that at the end of the stream, I guess. Oh, these guys, though. What do they have? Fast attack, double damage. Thors. Yeah, that's correct. Only the jungle and snow DLC or the creeping winter are the hero pass. And for the season pass, you will get four new DLCs, including the Howling Peaks. So for people that are still confused about it, just um, buy the season pass. You will get all four new ones. Or of course, you can just buy the DLC separately. I definitely think it's a good deal to uh, buy all of them at the same time. Because in the end, I mean, you're just going to be excited about all the new content that is popping up. And yes, of course, it's it's a larger price right off the bat at the start. But uh, at the same time, you will be 100% certain that you will get your hands on some really cool epic new content later on. And uh, then it is going to feel like it's free because you have already paid for it, right? I don't know. I, I always feel that way. It's not good, actually. But um, just a treat, guys. I mean, it's Christmas almost. Treat yourself a little bit with, uh, with some nice DLCs. <laughs> Notice me. What do you think would happen? Let me just kill this zombie. 
What do you think would happen if the Ice Soldier won the vote, but a song is included along with him? A song is included along with him. That would be pretty cool, but I'm not really sure what you mean with this song. The Ice Soldier song, I guess. <laughs> would be really cool to see that one in a regular Minecraft. Because right now, I mean, we don't really have anything scary in the mountains. We have the, the villages, we have the illager or pillager outposts. But in the mountains, we only have... Yeah, sometimes creepers and spiders spawning, but it would be really cool if Isologers would also roam in those lands and take down all the enemies. And, of course, take down us when we try to brave and trek to the mountains. <laughs> or whatever you want to say to it. Um, just gonna get rid of some items. Get rid of this guy as well. So this is gonna be a slow run, guys. You saw a zombie fall off the edge. Oh, I didn't. But I did hear a zombie dying, though, in the background. All right, we've got an event right here. Let's take down a creeper first. Ooh. That's some cool music, guys. You should listen to it if you can. Oh, we've got an illusioner. Look at this. I gonged him and oh, wow, it was dealing so much damage. Oh, I destroyed him with the tome as well. That is so nice. You can actually use this as a counter against the illusioner because of course it does spawn some of those, those uh, copies. And right now you can just prevent that from just taking all of them down at the same time. Whoops! <laughs> Sweet. Oh boy. Oh, nice! Highland Axe. Okay. Keep finding your needs. That is sweet, man. I'd like to see some new enchantments of this bad boy as well. How do you find the secret level? Well, I found it on, of course, the first level. Uh, pretty far in, pretty much. And I didn't have a secret on the map, so I think you don't need a secret in order to find it. And what's your favorite pet in dungeons? Well, hmm, that's a difficult one. I mean, the baby goat is pretty awesome, but I think the baby or Arctic Fox is my favorite because it looks so epic. I have a dog that looks a little bit like a fox in real life. So um, it's an orange dog, pretty foxy, <laughs> a foxy lady as well, because it's a girl. But for now, we're gonna play with the, with the goat. Oh, wait a second. Can we actually go that way as well? Hmm, I don't think so. It's just a way back, I guess. By the way, guys, for the future, what do you think? Should I just keep the streams just like this or should I add a face cam to it? Right now, I really didn't feel like that because it's still quite early in the morning. But um, I could do that. I mean, if you guys are interested in that, I saw some mixed mixed thought about it. Mixed thoughts. Some people said, eh, nah, don't go for it because then we can focus on the, on the game itself, which is, in my opinion, a very good thing to do. Some people think it's nice to see an expression, for example, when I find a unique or something like that. Where, what are all the enchantments I just got into the stream? Oh, we all, there are many of them, but I think I already got rid of most of the items. Uh, we did have this one of climbing gear. This one has a multi roll, grants extra rolls. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I don't know, man. This one is also a new one. This is, of course, no enchantment, but um, it's a new weapon. Then we have, ah, cool. This Highland Axe does have the Illager's Bane on it. So this one increases the damage to Illagers, plus 40% increased damage on tier 3. That is pretty sweet, man, if you ask me. Um, also, Illagers Bane on this guy. Cursed Axe doesn't have anything special. We're just gonna have to find out more. And we also found the Updraft Tome, dude. It's a very cool enchantment. We get to see more of the game. I feel like you should stay just like this. Alright, that's cool, man. I'm... Just gonna add the face cam only to my informational videos because then I think it's nicer to see somebody actually talking to you. But with the gameplay, I think it's indeed better without a face cam. 
There's so much cross right here. Disable the siege gear. Oh, we have to walk up right here. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We just have to walk on this. I'm gonna have to take down one more of those siege gears and then the gates should open for us. Oh, these guys are actually way tankier. Uh oh, we have a big guy. We have a big guy. I'm just gonna gong him. There we go. And take the siege weapon. Find the garrison. Oh, that sounds interesting, guys. There is a garrison right here. Wow, this is a very nice design, guys. It would be cool to build something like this on a regular Minecraft as well. Uh, Dino Boy, you have the hero pulse. That means you will not get all the DLCs. If you have the hero pulse, you will get the Creeping Winter DLC as well as the, um, the Jungle Awakens. But if you want to get your hands on the four new DLCs, then you have to buy the Season Pass. This one is $20. And um, yeah, it will give you all the DLCs when they get released. Right now, only the Howling Peaks is released, of course. And of course, if you just want to buy the DLCs separately, it's going to cost you uh, 6 euros or $6 each. By the way, for everybody who is new in the stream, thank you so much for being here as well. It's very awesome to share this uh, experience of the first hours of the DLC being released pretty much with you guys. And yeah, of course, if you enjoy the stream, the scream, <laughs> if you enjoy the stream, definitely make sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it big time. And of course, yeah, if you if you like my uh, content, it's always very nice to have you as subscribe member to the channel as well. Because, uh, you know, guys, I make videos almost on a daily basis. I try to push out a lot of content for this DLC right after the stream. So I'm going to take down uh, the Tempest Golem after this level. And then uh, I'm going to start farming for some uniques, guys. And I will showcase every single one of them in the future videos that will be uh, put live in, yeah, in the coming days. Including today, actually. I try to make about two three videos a day uh, with the Howling Peaks release date. My favorite weapon, well, I think the Fighter's Bindings is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, as ranged weapon, I really like the Winter's Touch because every time when I roll, I can steal movement speed of my enemies with a multi-shot and uh, the Burst Bowstring. If this is Chinese for you, <laughs> I did make some videos about it, so you can definitely check them out. And um, I'm actually really looking forward to the upgraded Tempest Knife. I'd like to see it dropping, uh, so uh, then we will be able to check that one out because I think with that attack speed it will be another very interesting new weapon for Apocalypse Plus. Ouch! What the hell was that, man? What the hell? I just got one hit killed right there. That is brutal. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, that's the electrified. I didn't see the electrified. What's your favorite artifact in dungeons? Well, I'd say the Deathcap Mushroom because I always use it. There is no situation where I don't like to use it. It's just so powerful. It gives you extra survivability, extra damage, of course. I am just a small viewer. No one sees me. Of course I see you, dude. Everybody is equal. Everybody is large and small at the same time, I guess. Open the main gate. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the tome right now because we might need our Ironhide Amulet for when we find more mobs with Electrified. This event is not too fancy though. It's just a summoning event. The sound is pretty cool though. I like this. They could spawn in a little bit more frequently. Bam, there we go. Do you play Cyberpunk 2077? Oh, 
Boy, I actually was looking forward to this game, but um, the release date got delayed so many times and actually it looks pretty cool. It's like a Grand Theft Auto, but a little bit more futuristic, but let's be honest, I am not a huge fan of futuristic. I really like things medieval style, middle ages. Um, for example, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was a game that I really enjoy playing um, because yeah, you have Vikings in there, guys. Vikings are epic. Knights are epic. I really like those kind of things. Uh oh. We have some enemies. <laughs> We're gonna have some trouble right here. Let's try to beat these bastards as quick as possible. Especially those wind callers, they are quite annoying. Are you gonna kill the golem next? Oh, yes. I'm gonna fight the golem next, guys. What's your favorite DLC? Well, so far this one actually. I just talked about it a couple minutes ago. I think this one is really cool. It's gonna add some pretty interesting new weapons and armor to the game as well, as well as artifacts. I mean, like there's four new artifacts so far. I know, maybe there's gonna be even more, I don't know, but uh, it looks really cool. I think the boss fight is gonna be something different as well. And we have yet to see the Squall Golems in action. I think those are going to be pretty epic. Ravager's already a pain in the ass, really. They hit like a truck. There we go. Oh, we have nice flower garden right here. <laughs> Just gonna take down those creepers from afar. It's actually the first time I'm using my crossbow right now. Bam. Oh, these guys are so annoying. The wind callers. Oh, we have to find the key. All right. Let's find the key. I will subscribe to you. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Everybody, by the way, who just got subscribed because of the live stream, welcome to the channel. There is so much coming your way. You have no idea. Content on the daily for Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. And um, with the release of Howling Peaks, of course, I'm going to make way more content because I try to get you guys all the information possible that you want to get your hands on right now. For example, how to unlock that secret level, how to... Get your hands on the best items, the best new enchantments, which you should focus on, etc, etc. Oh, we don't want to stand in the explosion. Let's get uh, the channel to 30k, guys. I'm not really sure on which level we currently are. But uh, it would be awesome if we could get to 30k this week. So we're gonna have to take a yellow key right here, probably. Oh, somebody just joined the channel. Welcome, dude. That is awesome. Now you will have some pretty epic emojis. <laughs> the more people join, the more emojis we're gonna have. And of course, some uh, sneak peeks to future content for the channel. It's a new feature on my channel. I haven't really uh, promoted it. I mean, like, yeah, I don't want to promote those kinds of things. But uh, of course, if you want to contribute a little bit to the channel, if you want to show some extra support, then uh, it is always very nice to do so. Your dynasty, really thanks, man. Welcome to the army. Oh, we're going to have to pay some attention right here because we don't want to die. Don't have any lives left. There we go. As long as we stay back a little bit, stay focused, then all is fine, guys. Oh, this is such a huge room, guys. Look at this. What the hell? That is crazy. The next key is probably going to be located right there. Oh, 
Oh boy, I should mix some food pretty soon as well. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit hungry. I haven't had really any, any breakfast right now. I'm still pretty sleepy. So I woke up pretty early at 6 a.m. And um, I started preparing the stream straight away because I knew I had to make some uh, optimizations to the, to the settings. How is the quality, by the way, guys? You're still happy with uh, the audio quality? If Is everything nicely? Like uh, my voice uh, volume as well as the, the game volume itself? I do record in these settings, so it should be quite decent. But then again, of course, you have the quality in... <gasps> yes, it happened. It just happened. We found some uh, emerald gear. Eat! <laughs> yeah, I have to eat. But um, I will do that pretty soon. Don't worry about it. I will probably put the stream um, in a be right back mode for five minutes. Um, right before we're going to start uh, taking down the Tempest Golem. But uh, oh, this is going to be nice, man. Emerald gear. Let's check it out. So this one... <gasps> oh, boy actually has some pretty interesting enchantments. Three new enchantments on it. So as you wear the emerald gear during your adventures, it calls other emeralds to you as if by chance. Chance to spawn emeralds when exploring, melee attack speed. And this one also has the dead barter. So when I get my hands on 50 emeralds, it will save me from death. And then also the life boost. Each time you expend a life, your maximum health increases. Wow. And then also the multi roll grants extra rolls. I think mm, this one could have been replaced by something else like Final Shout or um, Chilling, just to make me a little bit tankier for Apocalypse. But it's a pretty cool common piece of armor, man. Let's press that button. There we go. All right, time to bring this boy to the cave. I mean, to the to, to the door. It's not really a cave. Oh man, the fighter's bindings attack speed is just so sweet, man. I love it. Uh oh, that's why you want to have. Oh. <laughs> Boys, it just happened. And while my laptop started flipping once again. Let's fix this for a second. We just found the Resolute Tempest Knife. Oh, man. I am very happy about this because I want to showcase this weapon, really. Increased damage to wounded mobs. So this one has a built-in committed. And wow. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> I think we just found a perfect... Just a perfect weapon right here. This one doesn't only have the swirling, but it also has radiance and it has critical chance. So it's probably a perfect resolute Tempest knife. Speed burst after mob defeats. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a god roll. You guys know that I found it the fair way. I mean, we're live streaming, right? This is... Man, this is MLG. I am super happy about it. Let's let's finish this level and we should put it in the, the blacksmith straight away so we can upgrade it pretty much. And wow, we found so many emeralds on one single chest. That's pretty crazy. What is the combo? Um, what is the combo? Well, what do you mean? Oh, you want to see the combo itself, the attack combo. It's just like that. So uh, let's just enchant it for a second. I'm gonna put swirling on it. We're gonna put radiant. Oh, actually, I oh I shouldn't have done this because right now probably the blacksmith is gonna make it a little bit more expensive. But wait a second. Oh yeah, swirling only happens. That's right. Swirling only happens if you actually hit enemies with it. But um, we can showcase it a little bit, right? Power level is quite low, but um, it will be cool to check it out. Put on the emerald gear and walk with it. Yeah, yeah, I should. Uh, I should, but at the same time, I don't have any lives left. I should do that for the next level. Okay. They're slowing me down. That's not nice. Oh, man. This is really not nice. Let me just equip my fighter's bindings for a second. Because I don't want to die right here. Oh, boy. 
These guys, they hit like a truck, man. There we go. Just get rid of them, just like that. Oh boy. <laughs> they keep reviving as well. Oh, we have a boss popping up, I think. Wow, you can even fight battle ropes in this level. That's pretty sweet, man. It's rushed down good. I think it's cool. Might be interesting for speedruns. Really depends on when it happens, when the rage down happens. If you, for example, take mobs down with a ranged weapon, uh, then you could uh, automatically take them down with your burst bowstring. So then it might apply the rush down effect from your weapon, because that's also happening with the Anima Conduit. Um, it's a lot of information I'm giving you guys right now, but I'm just speculating. I think it might be possible. Then it would be super powerful to have Rush Down. Oh, this guy. Oh, man. He hits like a truck. And this was like a banner, man. Tempest is slow like Soul Knife. Well, it's actually pretty fast. Soul Knife is way, way slower. Let me show to you guys what I mean. This guy should stop respawning. So here we have the Tempest Knife. That's the attack speed. I think very much comparable with a sword. It's even faster than a sword, or not? I don't know. But right now we're gonna check out Soul Knife. See, this is super slow. Super slow. So um, of course, Fighters Bindings are gonna be the fastest. They're gonna be the best. But um, I do want to have my Resolute Tempest Knife a little bit right here. Because we're going to enchant this bad boy when we are finished with this level. I think we are right now. Bam. Sweet. New max speed. Yeah, it's it's not the maximum speed because that's for the, the fist weapons, the fighter's bindings, etc. But it does feel like a very, very strong and interesting weapon. Fireworks arrow. Nice. And ah, thank you so much for... Letting me know Apocalypse Plus is there once again. So, um, guys, we're going to upgrade this bad boy, right? The Resolute Tempest Knife. Oh, boy. Ah, just 775 emeralds. That's just fine. Just going to put it right there. Maybe we should upgrade something else as well. Maybe just upgrade this guy for funsies. Or actually, should equip it for a second to show you guys how it looks. Looks pretty, pretty funky. Guys, I have an idea. Why not go back to the main menu? Because I made a pretty funky skin. Um, return to the main menu. I will show it to you guys in a second. I actually want to add this in a video. Um, I should not spoil it, but... Um... <laughs> if you saw it, if you saw it, then uh, it's going to be pretty funky. Should I get the Howling Peaks? Is it worth it? Um, yes. I think it's definitely worth it. You should get your hands on it. But guys, behold my skin. <laughs> I made a uh, underpants skin for I am in underpants underwear and um, I'm going to use this for a future video I think it's pretty funky so I'm gonna slap the auric illager with this just this guys <laughs> this is gonna be great fun but um, really let's let's get back my uh, my regular skin how much is it well it's uh, five dollars it's five dollars, but if you buy, of course, the entire uh, season pass, and uh, if you buy it separately, it's gonna be uh, six dollars. So I'm just gonna equip this guy once again, or actually this one was the one I'm using. The one with the bandana is for my hardcore survival character, which is right here. But um, guys, we have to fight the Tempest Golem. No armor challenge with the skin. Oh yeah, I can definitely do that, but <laughs> not right now. Not right now. I'm gonna do that another time. So we're going to upgrade the emerald gear as well. I'm going to put back my cape. By the way, for the people that are still wondering, how did you get your hands on a custom cape? Well, I made it myself. So um, if you want to check it out, definitely make sure to uh, just Google uh, how to get custom skins and custom capes in uh, Minecraft dungeons, because that is where I explained all that in just a couple of minutes. All right, guys, are you ready for... The final level. Actually, we should check the merchants for a second. Just gonna do a couple of refreshes and wow, we just found scatter mines. Scatter three explosive mines on the ground around you 
that detonate when an enemy is in range. So you can now place down traps, dude. That is epic. I'm gonna buy this one straight away, of course. We have another book right here. I'm just gonna buy it because you never know, guys. I actually want to get my hands on more of those books. So, um... i like to know what this guy is capable of. Oh! Wait a second. Ah, uh, this is like the same thing that uh, the Redstone Golem spawns. 4am streaming at 4am. Really, is 4am right now? <laughs> I Well, of course, it's always 4am somewhere in the world. But um, for me, it's like almost midday. So this is a pretty cool artifact of Scattered Mines. We should check it out. It's a pretty low power level, so it's probably not going to hit very hard, but uh, did it increase the power of cap? I am a red <laughs> golem. Yes, 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 I am a red song golem. But um, they didn't increase the cap, unfortunately. I thought they were going to do that, but uh, when we go to the Gale Sanctum, guys, the Gale Sanctum, it says, give an artifact power. Okay, that's because uh, I currently have some bad stuff equipped. But... Um, it will also be just like with all the other levels. I love how the gift wrapper dances. Luxury merchant. Yes, yes, yes. I promised to check out the luxury merchant. So this one doesn't sell anything too fancy right now. Ooh, look at that. Wither armor with protection. Then the rolling stuff and then also the chilling or this. I am just going to lock him in reserve. I'm not really sure if this one is going to be super interesting. But uh, let's just keep it right there. All right, I'm going to re-equip my gear because right now my power level is quite low, guys. I actually have to get on fill gear. And then we're going to... Actually, I'm going to go to the main menu quickly because I don't want to get my hands on some low power level items. That's not really nice. I'm just resetting the power level back to its regular one. You have to get the hero DLC to wear the cape you made. Well, yes, the hero DLC will give you a cape, so... That is the only way that you can actually replace the texture or the skin to one that you made yourself. All right, guys, skill sanctum. This is gonna be a cool one. I'm just gonna put it on 15, just like we did with the pulse levels. Oh boy, this is gonna be a nice run, I guess. Swept temple rises from the towering peaks, and those who dare to brave these gusty halls must harness the power of the wind itself. Deep within wow, this one well looks really cool, man. The whipping winds and dangerous deadly drops. A mighty tempest golem has been corrupted by the shard's influence and must be destroyed. Then we have a squall golem. So there's probably going to be more puzzles in this level. Looking forward to them. But especially the Squall Golems themselves. I think they're going to be pretty interesting to see as well. Because they get boosted with their movement speed if you apply wind to them. So this is the first guy. Look how nice. Golem sitting there. <laughs> yeah, he's just sitting there. He's going to... Oh, okay. Let's iron hide amulets. Okay. Their damage is not too crazy. So they're not too difficult to take down. Okay, that was an easy puzzle, guys. That was a very easy puzzle. Nice. Look at this room, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. I really like the map design on this one. Turn the golem off. Oh, you can actually turn golems off as well. It's probably if you just uh, disable or turn around the wind, I guess. If they don't have wind, they are not boosted anymore. They are not active, I'd say. Because they have to be wind up by the wind, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, 
Oh man, so many things moving around. It's making me crazy. I know how to fly. Oh really? You find an elytra dude? <laughs> I have no clue where to go right now, by the way. Just going to random places. Just find some emerald. I mean, there's some mystery armor. Let's check it out in a second. Soul gathering and lifesteal. Hmm. Nope. These guys are actually pretty tanky. Could try to go to that place. Let's let's just try that, man. Oh, wait a second. I think I screwed up. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not allowed to do that. That's fine, that's fine. Probably lots of glitches will be found with the wind. I think so too, man. And I am looking forward. Oh, I was not focusing for a second. I am looking forward to finding those glitches. I will share them with you guys ASAP. There is a door here I saw. Yeah, there's probably going to be a door like in the middle. It looks like it. I'm just going to drink this potion. We also have these things on the side. Oh, come on. Seriously? Guess I'm gonna have to wait a little bit more. And now we're gonna have to be careful with the wind. Oh boys, oh boys. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a patience game. There we go. Oh boy. Nice. We should have checked that place as well though. We can just go to it this way. So there are different ways to get to the gate, pretty much. You can either use those things, those uh, plateaus, or just go this way. I think there's gonna be some mobs right here. There's some chests to spawn in, maybe. Alright, that's... Chest numero uno. Just some phantom armor, nothing too fancy. Uh oh. What the hell is going on? I'm just gonna activate all those things at the same time, guys. I'm gonna have the biggest challenge. Oh, no, 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 no. Not ice soldiers and wind colors at the same time. Oh, this is, this is really bad stuff, actually. Oh, man. What the hell is this chaos? Bam, come on. We can get through. There we go. And there we have it. Two more chests. You're a bloody kelp. <laughs> is Radiance good for fire's bindings? Oh, yes it is. It's very, very good. In my opinion, it's still the best healing out there. Why can I not just... Okay, I can't just roll out of it. That's better. It's way better. Now we're just gonna walk just like this. Bam. Okay, so we have a door right here. This is gonna be some kind of secrets, I suppose. Maybe, guys? Uh, I'm gonna try to do it. Ah, it doesn't work. So we have the controller glitch on the um, PC, right? We can use the Xbox controller. Let me just try out if this actually works on <laughs> the Howling Peaks as well. It would be pretty funky to find the bug straight away. I'm trying to activate it right now, but I think it's... Nah, it's not working. It will be funky. It does look like a palace. It doesn't work anymore. What doesn't work? It. They patched it? Did I also patch it for uh, Soggy Cave? Can you double check that? I think they patched it. Would be cool if they did because yesterday I made a video. Uh oh. About it still not being patched really. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm not Osagi Cave. It doesn't work on Osagi Cave, really. Oh, then I think... 
That's too bad. But good as well, I mean. It was a little bit OP. Dynamo plus deflect was patched. But that's nothing different. I meant uh, the door glitch. I hear something. I think we have to roll down there. Or maybe we have to put the platform up. Expansion has been fun, but I don't know why they just keep nerfing things. Yeah, it's not nice, of course. You have to live with it. But um, it makes the game more challenging, more difficult as well. I think it's not that bad. I mean, we do get some nerves, but those don't really break the game. I mean, things are getting only more challenging. Of course, some things at Max Apocalypse are a little bit overpowered, if you ask me. I think we're going to have to put it just like that. Oh, yes. Sweet. So we just have to... Put the water all facing towards the center. What's the max power level right now? It's still the same. They haven't changed anything to it. Uh, Arabic. Akim, I don't know uh, Arabic, unfortunately. I do know, like, some words of it. But uh, it's a super difficult language. I'm actually interested in learning it myself in the future. But um, it's going to take quite some time. I can't launch the DLC, but I have all the DLC. Do you know the problem? Um, are you using mods? Are you on the PC? Because then I think you're just going to have to update your game. You have to do a patch, an update, in order to uh, play the newest DLC, really. Right, so this is the last one, guys. And then I think we're going to have the Tempest Golem fight. Maybe it's going to take a little bit longer for us. Because it's a pretty short level, but oh boy, I do like the looks of it. Such epic textures. Environment looks really, really nice. Aha. I knew it. It was gonna bring up this thing. But just a regular chest. I mean, for all that effort, it should have been an obsidian chest, right? Yeah, you should, man. I think... Uh, the hero DLC is pretty interesting. You get your hands on two DLCs, uh, you get your hands on a hero cape, you get your hands on some pets. I think it's pretty cool. Just, let's just take these two. Ah, uh, this is... <laughs> this is gonna be a long walk. Or well, with some rolling it goes a little bit faster. Gale Sanctum. Learn to fly! Oh boy! We have to learn to fly! In this stage of the level. That's interesting. Interesting to see what new builds come out. Yeah, me too, man. I think I am already super happy with um, my knife I found. I just found a unique Tempest Blade. So uh, this one also has the perfect enchantments, guys. It's going to be super awesome to play with when it's maximum upgraded. We've got two squall golems right here, just chilling. What's this? Ah, this is the room we saw on the on the preview video. So right now the squall golems are going to be activated, and then ah, look at that. Let's lure him towards me. Okay. Um, it, I find this strange because there is still wind right here and they're clearly not activated. When I press this button, it does deactivate them. So that makes sense. But at the same time, it doesn't make sense because this is still wind blowing, right? Anyone know leaks on the next DLC DLCs? Yes, I know leaks. I'm gonna share them pretty soon, guys. Oh, will this thing deal damage? I'm curious. It doesn't. It would be cool if you could like lure mobs in here and this would just literally crush them. It would be funky to see. Wanna learn Arabic? Oh, in the future, but <laughs> not right now, dude. I am quite busy already. Let's activate the Squall Golem. Oh! Look at that. 
one gong of weakening. Can't take that mob so fast. I love the new looks of these levels, not just ice everywhere like before. Exactly, dude. I also think they're like really, really cool as new addition to the game. I do think every single DLC has its own charms, has its own beauty, but um, the Creeping Winter DLC was like my favorite before this one got released. But I thought there was like too much cold going on. They, they could have made some warm levels as well. With this one, you have like many different textures so vibrant and uh, nice looking. I don't know, they should also implement and add these blocks in a regular Minecraft. Look at this, man, this lantern. It's like an Asian lantern. It's all like Asian Japanese temple style. I really like all these things, man. This one has the most content. Oh, yes, for sure. We have many new weapons and armor. We have four new artifacts. Um, many mobs as well. I think like the same amount really, but looks really cool. And yeah, they did change FX the dynamo deflect. That's unfortunate in my opinion. It was a pretty cool thing to use. Okay, <laughs> why can't we not gather these supplies? That's that's strange. How did you find the secret level? I, I haven't found it yet. Well, um, I just did the first level. Uh, first time I had like uh, a glitch. There was a secret on the map. I had to restart the level though because there was some gates blocking my uh, passage. Then I restarted it and I had a level with zero secrets in there. But it did spawn the secret level, so it can spawn on regular levels as well. You just have to look out for a pretty big room, like, towards the end of the level, let's say. It should be an achievement where you should not kill a single golem. Oh, that's that would be a very cool achievement indeed. I'm gonna have to stand in here. But then the spawning begins. That's cool. If you don't stand in there, it, it doesn't spawn mobs. See? And when I do, they start spawning once again. So it's actually pretty easy to survive this. But of course, sometimes it will knock you out. I'm curious if this actually resets the spawning of the mobs. I don't think it does, because then it just could go on and on and on, really. Come on, <laughs> where's the last of them? Ah, okay, it opened. Um, the secret level, I just I just shared that information, really. I think I already said it three times. I just found it on the first level, dude. Um, for some reason, I am not allowed to open this gate still. Not sure why, I think it's bugged, but uh, let's just continue, I guess. We don't need this chest, it's just some supplies. But really, on the first level, you can just find the, uh, you can find the scroll somewhere, just a little bit tucked in further, uh, back away in the level. You don't need the secret to be there, really. Um, is this one bugged? All well, the gates are currently closed. Okay, there's a spawning event. That's why. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope there's no more door glitches because then we're gonna have to restart this level. That would be lame. There is a button in the back. Okay. I have to focus on the buttons, guys. Oh, so many mobs spawning in, really. There we go. Um. Ah, wait a second. We're gonna have to channel the wind through these canals. I completely forgot about it. There's a button in the back. Somewhere in the back there's a button. Ah, there we have it. Okay.
There we go. So this is channeled. I think the wind is going through. No, 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 not yet. We're gonna have to activate this guy. I think we missed more of them. So this is the activation, right? That should be active. Yes. I hear some sounds of wind going through. So it does go through right here, but um, then we just follow this canal. So it goes that way, it goes this way. It goes down there. We kind of have to push this button. Ah, wow, we can actually push the button all the way from here. What? What's your favorite mob for him? Well, uh, people just keep asking this. It's difficult because it really depends, like, your favorite most difficult mob to fight against or mob that you just like killing because it's super easy. I actually really like Enderman because they are a pretty big challenge, evokers as well. It can be super annoying, but that that's what makes this game fun as well, right? You can just uh, deal with strong mobs. Mushrooms are also pretty funky. But, um, like, favorite in all ways, like the design and everything, that is going to be um, the Isologer for sure. I think that's by far the coolest mob out there because it's it has a pretty cool mechanic. It's horrible against... Uh, I mean, it's horrible to fight against in uh, Apocalypse difficulty levels. But uh, it makes up for a real challenge, right? There we have it. Cool, cool, cool. This is gonna give us a little bridge. Awesome. Do you like this game? <laughs> of course. Why would I play this game if I wouldn't like it? Only decrease difficulty. Search everywhere. Make this a two or three times. What do you mean? What's your favorite boss? Well... The favorite boss, uh, pfft, I hope, the Tempest Golem. We're gonna find out pretty soon. It's gonna be a pretty cool boss fight, I guess. Uh, the Arc Illager boss fight is really awesome. And then, um, yeah. What else? Mushroom Monstrosity. I don't think that's a very cool boss fight. The Redstone Monstrosity fight is also really awesome. Oh, we actually screwed up a little bit right here. We and I have to click this one one more time or two more times actually. There we go. There we go. Strength potion. No, 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 no. You're not gonna escape from me. All right, let me just fix something really quickly. I can hear a key, by the way. I like the Tempest Golem design, but I hated the fight. Oh, okay. I'm curious. Oh, we have a little key right here. We can hit it, but uh, that doesn't really work. There we go. Oh, wait a second. We have to keep this one going, really. No, Key, come back. Come back. There we go. Oh, man. I really don't like it when the Key runs away. We're just going to use a bow for now. Ah, this also opens gates. Every single one of them or just one of them? I guess we're going to have to activate something first. We have to push this button. Okay, what's going on right here? Oh, wait a second. Okay, that was tricky. Now we can press this one. Uh, 
Bam. Man, where are we gonna have to deliver this guy? <laughs> we're just keep taking it with us. Uh oh. No, 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 no. What the hell? Just keep it just like that, I guess. Uh oh. Some mob spawning in. We even have spiders spawning in here. Uh oh. What's this? Enchanted Ravagers. What? Oh boy. These guys are scary. Ouch. I lost my key though. <laughs> Where is my key? I'm happy for you, but I'm sad because I lost my character folder. What? You lost your character folder? That is not nice, man. Thanks for this stream. Well, my pleasure, of course. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to search the key once again. We lost it somewhere. I'm not sure, though. Why... Why do you have to take it so far with you? Ah, it's all the way here, man. Uh-oh. We don't want to mess with this. Loving the content. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it big time once again. Yeah, I try to push out as much content as possible, like almost on a daily basis. I try to do daily basis, but that's currently not really possible with work, etc. But, um... Yeah, it's a good thing, of course, to just keep pushing out content. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I actually lost my key once again. I'm gonna have to push this guy. Bam. I'm gonna have to keep it just like that. Um, what the hell? Did I do something wrong, guys? Really? <laughs> I think I did. Or maybe we're just gonna have to walk all the way back with the key. Yeah, please, guys. Stop spamming or I'm gonna have to mute people. It's not gonna be nice, right? Okay, everything is open. That's nice. We're gonna just have to deliver the key. I think the Tempest Golem is gonna be tucked away somewhere around these parts. After all these gates, man. I mean... We definitely deserve fighting this bad guy, right? Oh, boy. Aha, nice. Oh. Just want to take the key, deliver it. Did you fight the golem? No, 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 no. I'm about to fight the golem right now, guys. The golem fight is on us. It's gonna be right here. We did fight some little squall golems though. Oh, don't. <laughs> what did I just do right there? That was stupid. Oh, this has, DLC has so many cool blocks. I hope they get added to Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update. Yes. Oh, dude, for sure. I talked about that like a couple minutes ago as well i think the new blocks are really really awesome they should definitely add them to minecraft as well oh sweet baby jesus <laughs> they just keep respawning um there is a chest right here i think it's hidden in the waterfall probably is oh whoa 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 Wow, that's so broken, man. We could actually click everything from here. I'm just gonna check if there's something. Oh, there is. Okay. You can just do it just like that. You just have to click it. That's nice. Oh, we just got stuck right here. No, 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 no. This is not nice. I don't want to 
restart the level. Let's just feather our way out, I guess. Yes, is this for real? Um. Oh man, no, 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 no. Corium, which is your favorite map? Uh, pfft, that is difficult, man. Many, many maps are uh, are nice, really. But uh, let me first, please, try to unstuck myself from this. Man, why? Oh, I have an idea. We have these bombs, right? I'm gonna use the bombs, blow myself away from this. Is this gonna work? Yes. So many bugs. So many bugs. Yes. Oh. I am a, I am super stuck, I think. <laughs> Nothing. Use the mines, yeah. Let's just try it again, guys. Stupid thing is... Man, this is... This is literally breaking it. Remove your armor. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to remove my armor, but I think it's not really going to work out. The most efficient thing normally for these kinds of things would be the feathers. Rolling and feathers usually does the trick. But I am literally super stuck right here. I'm going to just use my mines and just kill myself. I wish you could reset the character. Use a feather, use a ghost cloak. Okay, let's just use a ghost cloak as well. No. Guys, look at my HP. Um, actually, let's just kill ourselves. <laughs> We're just gonna kill ourselves. Um, let's go for triple cooldown armor as well. I'll read it. I think this one has triple cooldown. There we go. Of course, we're gonna have to make sure the mines are close enough to hit us. Wow. Mojang, if you are watching the stream, <laughs> please fix this. All right, we just took some more damage. Um, I have to make a bomb like super close to me. Then without the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. So. Oh, was just a little bit too late. But um, with the armor, of course, the cooldown is gonna be better. Without the armor, you're gonna take more damage. Yep, yep, yep. I'm on it, guys. We're gonna fix this. Come on. Kill me. Yeah, sometimes the mine is placed, like, a little bit too far away from you. I actually have some gear with me. Oh, yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I killed myself. That is nice. Okay, let's uh, put on our gear once again. I really have no idea why it makes me so happy to die. So we finally unstuck ourselves. Success. <laughs> yes, guys. Great success. Oh, look at this. Okay. Nice. Okay, continue the level, man. It's good that you can actually break the game. A broken game, you can break it once again, and then just kill yourself. And then you can continue playing the game like nothing has happened. <laughs> Why am I killing the cows, though? They're so nice to me. Where's the secret location? Um, I shared it a couple times already. I will definitely make a video for it after the stream, but uh, really... The secret can be found in the first level. You just have to go to somewhere in the end of the level and it will spawn right there. You don't have to have the secret on the map itself. I found it without a secret on the map. And look at that. We just got our hands on a obsidian chest. That is really nice, man. Maybe we can get our hands on some unique new armor. That would be so cool. So how do we get on this? I think I'm just going to use one of my feathers. Oh. Not really sure if this is intentional, but with feathers, man, you have so many solutions normally. I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay. That didn't work. That didn't work either. Ah, it's probably not working, but uh, it's fine, guys. Well, at least we tried. It could be a lot easier to speedrun certain levels. So, um,. We have to go that way, and we have to do a jump 
Okay, that's fine. What's this, man? We have to walk around, I guess. Or we have to roll on every single one of these pipes. Okay. That's one. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so that is how you take the secret chest. Just have to roll from one pipe to another. Oh, this is this might be a tricky one. But with the feathers, it's probably going to be a lot easier. So I definitely recommend you guys to go with feathers as well. Bam. There you go. Wow, you just melted them. Yeah, I know, I know. With my current gear. Oh, we found a satchel of elements. It made a sound of a unique, but it's not a unique. So I think that's a bug, but uh, this is pretty cool, guys. Hits nearby mobs with an elemental status effect struck by lightning, frozen or set ablaze. So this is pretty much a random damage that you will do against your enemies. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's check it out, I guess. Um, <laughs> it didn't do anything, man. Really. Uh, we should enable this right here, though. Have to sense a wind through it, and what the hell? Just gonna have to press some lever or button. Then the wind should go through. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, this also looks like... No, 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 no. We won't be able to get through there. Oh, we actually have another room, which I completely forgot about or ignored, simply. Let's check this room out as well, because we still have one more chest to open. Wow, we actually gathered all the chests pretty much on this level. That's pretty cool. Try to tome with the elemental thingy. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, okay. It's not too crazy. It does deal a lot of damage. You can destroy a mob, really. Whoa, did you see my baby goat flying right there? <laughs> that is awesome. <gasps> Bone bow, unique. That is nice. Ouch, ouch. He is electrified. We're gonna have to deal with him as quick as possible. Wow, so many things dropping right here gonna beat this guy. Bam. More mobs coming up. Ironhide amulet. So I will be able to get through the flames. Oh boy. These enchanted mobs are tough. Bam, there we go. Where is the boss room? Well, I think we are there pretty soon. And this is the final chest, so we completed the entire level. That's pretty cool. So now we know every single thing about this one. Sweet. Use only the tome and elements thing on the boss as a challenge. Uh, okay. I guess. Oh, <laughs> you just... Jumped on it. Well, we have two more lives, so I guess we can do that. I think this element thing is not going to be very strong against the boss, but we do have... Let's see. We have another tome, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I think we are... Oh, yes, we do. So, we have one tome right here. But the other one is super low power level. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Ironhide Amulet. So, we're just gonna stay with these two. Are there actually, like, mobs that you have to fight against? when you're doing the boss fight, or is it just the boss? Because then, actually, these two artifacts would be pretty bad to use. Use cooldown to use them often. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, Verdant rope, I guess? We're probably gonna die right here, because this is such a bad... such a bad combination of artifacts. Damn. Oh, wait a second. I took the wrong one. Oh boy, what's happening? I'm gonna have to take a potion right here. He's ten times better than you. Who, 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 who's saying this? Where 
get some bad talk in the chat. There we go. We kind of need a potion bear. I think this is going to be way better. Let's see. I'm going to take this one. Double cooldown reduction is already really nice. Would you rather have six shorter levels instead of three super long levels? Mm, that's a tough question because... I don't know, man. The length of a level can sometimes also be a little bit frustrating. For example, right now, the length was all right. It was a little bit long, but... Um, could it have been like 33% shorter, I guess? And yeah, we haven't even completed it entirely yet, so maybe it's gonna take a very long time still. Oh, we're gonna die probably right here with, with these enchantments and this armor. It's not really nice. Oh, we did destroy the creeper with that. That was cool. The arrow damage. Wind color versus wind color, guys. I destroyed this guy. Okay. Let's just see what we can do with these new enchantments. These new artifacts, I mean. Oh boy, look at that. The flames. <laughs> that is sweet, man. Ouch. Bam. That was a brutal destruction, pretty much. All right. We're dealing with it. And look at my HP, guys. I'm actually healing myself with uh, Anima Conduit on my bow. It's passive heals. Whoops. Oh, man. This is so much fun with the tome. Oh, take the mines, boy. Take the mines. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna put some mines right here as well. We don't wanna walk into the mines ourselves though. And look at that, we just found ourselves another Tempest Knife. Just two enchantment slots, that is not good. Just kill the boss, yes. <laughs> yeah, you haven't used your bow like the whole match. Of course I did it. Um, I, well, I did use it a couple times, but um, with my Feral Soul Crossbow, and that's really nice about it, is that I have the Animac Conduit, so it will just heal me passively. And with it, plus two Soul Gathering, also with this guy, plus another Soul Gathering, I will just heal myself all the time, which is really nice. Let's go to the studio for a second. Oops. Time to add the storm, guys. Oh boy, this guy though <laughs> was a big surprise. All right, guys, I don't want to get knocked off from these things. Boss room is still not here. I'm surprised. Or is this actually the boss fight? I'm not sure about it. I have a bad feeling about it though. Is this the boss fight room? It does look like it, man. You have so many of those air or wind pipes. I'm getting prepared for the boss fight. I'm oh, I'm quite certain of it right now. Oh, look at that. We found another emerald armor. Sweet. Whoa, are you lost? Uh, I'm kind of lost right now. Use your best stuff. Yeah, I had a challenge. Some of you guys said that I should work with uh, with these new artifacts. I'm actually doing that right now. It's actually quite fun, really. Right now, I want to go this way first so I can push the button once again. Okay. It's a puzzle, guys. There we go. Hmm... I'm gonna have to push this one once again, I think. No, that's not how it should work. This is how it should work. Then we're gonna have to turn this one around, I guess. 
No, 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 no. It works like this. Um, is this correct? I don't know, man. Wind colors are OP in this place. They will knock you out. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I just failed right there. I have to know how this puzzle works, guys. I'm not sure if it's currently working correctly. Oh. Let me just... Take some real gear right now. This is gonna be better. And with the Gong of Weakening. And then also the Iron Heights. Because the boss fight is gonna be a tough one, I think. Come on, where's my Iron Heights? Did we just salvage it or something like that? I hope I didn't, because that would be a shame. <laughs> Go to the button near the wood thing. Yeah, this is the wood thing, guys. Let me. Where's my iron height? Guys, did I seriously? Oh, there it is. Good thing. Good thing. I was a little bit afraid. Without an iron height, it's going to be quite tough. So we have to use the button on the wooden thing, he says. We can walk this way. He's gonna deal with these wind colors. Bam! Oh, that's so easy. Alright, I think that was just it. We just had to walk around these pipes and now uh, we go for the boss. We have the wind flowing through and we have the gate open up. Okay, yes. We just have to clear these mobs and then the boss will come. Whoa, so many uniques. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just keep the uniques that I think have really nice enchantments for maybe in the future or or some certain bolts to just test them out. Boss room very close. I farmed about 200k emeralds. What? Are you serious? That is crazy. Excited to get new gear from the vendors. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Me too. Currently only have 90,000 though. I didn't feel like farming for all those emeralds. I just want to farm from some new gear in, uh, in this DLC, and then we will see how many emeralds we can find. Maybe even find some great stuff while we're doing these. I mean, uh, we already found that unique Tempest Knife, which is gonna be crazy, probably. Oh boy. Guys, this is it. <laughs> this looks pretty crazy. This looks like a crazy room, man. Still have like 900k emeralds. Oh boy. Guys, are you ready for it? I just had to drink for a second, but um, I think I'm ready. Let's do this. Wow, look at the shadow as well. So I'm just gonna have to press a button and then it's about to go down. Let's first take this chest. Really, really beautiful map, man. Look at what they did in the distance. Interested to hear Foriam's opinion about this. Well, my opinion about the entire level, or what do you mean? About uh, the DLC, about uh, the design, the new items. Can we actually just hit this guy? Or we can't just hit this guy. Okay. Hmm. I think I already know a way how you can take him down super fast. Now we're already actually taking him down pretty easily. With uh, some extra speed, it will be even better. Not really sure what these things are right here, though. They do spawn in some mobs. Uh oh. Let's stay away from the wind because I think it's evil. So much HP. Disable the shields. Oh, he has shields. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to stay in this, probably. So this probably disabled the shield, I guess. Or not. Where are the shields, man? You found a way to speed this? <laughs> I guess so. You can already take him down right off the bat. Uh-oh. I think 
We have to be a little bit careful for those things. Okay. Oh boy, look at this! What the hell? Well, you don't really have to fight him. With the shields down, you can actually just take him down with everything. I like the I like the fight so far, man. It's a unique type of uh, battle. It's really cool with all these events. You can have to do many things at the same time. It would be very interesting to see this one on the Hardcore Survival Series as well. Let's just play it the regular way, I guess. Disable his shields. Oh. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. I, I don't want to kill him just yet. I don't want to kill him just yet. Let's just go for one more. Let's go for one more. Like to see what happens. Oh boy, we're taking some damage right here. Okay, your shield is gonna be gone right now, though, probably. Come on. Oh, he's actually smashing you with his shield. Maybe you can shoot him at the same time. It makes him vulnerable, right? That would be logical. Mm, doesn't look like it. This is a really cool fight, guys. What do you think about it? Let's let's just let's just finish him off. Let's just finish him off. Can we do it naked though? <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Oh. Actually. We did take him down without gear. That's nice. All right. Plate armor. Nothing too fancy. I expected a nicer piece of weapon or armor to drop with a, yeah, like a unique new new item from the DLC. But um, that's it, man. It was a pretty cool fight. And we, we didn't play in the Maximum Apocalypse. It's almost Max Apocalypse, but great stuff. This is actually a super awesome uh, fight. Maybe some of you guys are not really enjoying it. I don't know. I, I saw some things in um, in the chat, but I think it's actually a very cool fight. It's it's even more interesting than the one we saw with uh, the Arc Illager. There was like uh, some different events. And on the Creeping Winter DLC, on the Jungle Awakens DLC, the bosses, they don't have different events or special things to trigger. But um, wow. 57 million damage done. 86% of the mobs defeated. We got down one time. All the chests opened. That was that was great stuff. Corrupted Beacon 161. And yes, yes, I know. We unlocked Apocalypse Plus. Thank you. Why do I keep getting this message, really? Let's just uh, get rid of these items. But uh, guys, seriously. Man, oh man. There is some really cool stuff in this DLC. Some very awesome items to get your hands on. Some new enchantments as well, which are going to be free for every single one of you guys, by the way. Like the Death Barter right here. This will save you from dying when you actually die. When you have gathered some emeralds. On tier 3, just 50. Multi-roll. Grants extra rolls. Four extra rolls. Let's check this one out. Oh, well. 100% <laughs> longer roll cooldown. Actually, I would like to try this out. What happens when I put this one on. So we have four charges right there. Let's just... Put my other gear on first. Or actually, nah, it's not gonna work like that. So, um, you get more charges every single time when the roll cooldown happens, and then you will be able to use them all at the same time. What's the green roll one? The green roll one. Um, oh, lucky explorer. Yes, we're gonna check him out in a second. One, two, three, four. See, so you can roll four times in a row. Uh, let's Put my regular gear on once again but um, we also have lucky explorer guys chance to spawn emeralds with every block explore actually <laughs> i'd like to try this in the regular map let's let's see if it actually works on the regular map that would be so funky it's probably not working right here but it would be funny to see No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have emerald spawning in right here. That would be 
so unbalanced. But uh, really, guys, some very cool weapons. And actually, oh, we have we have that unique dagger we found, a unique knife. Actually, I'm just gonna equip my speed ring gear once again and put on this guy. So uh, we have this one. Three missions, one on Apocalypse Plus difficulty to upgrade it. I think this is going to be a really nice one. For the people that already saw it on the stream, this guy, right? Guys, this guy has the swirling. We have the radiance and we also have the critical hit. So this is going to be the perfect weapon, really. This is going to be the perfect weapon for uh, Apocalypse Plus. And the attack speed is super awesome. I'm not really sure if I like the new unique effect but um it's definitely a pretty cool piece to get your hands on and of course also the emerald armor we do have to find the opulent armor and a goat climbing armor all that kind of stuff but um man i'm actually super excited about all this new stuff and look at that we actually almost streamed for three hours that's a lot of time so um yeah guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up right here if you have some more questions just leave them in uh chat for a second i will try to reply um i wasn't able to do that all the time when i was playing the stream of course but um yeah if you have questions about the dlc it's gonna cost five dollars separately it's gonna cost six dollars but if you get your hands on the season pass it will be five dollars so twenty dollars in total for four dlcs three of them won't be accessible straight away but um you will get your hands on them when they actually get released and um Thanks for uh, being here, every single one of you guys, because uh, it's actually my first stream on the channel. So it was special. Uh, it took some time to set it up, um, made some mistakes as well, but um, I guess most of you guys did enjoy it. So uh, big thanks for being here and three hours for three missions. Yes, I know we did take our time, guys. Um, I'm going to do some more speed runs right now off stream, of course, off records. I think you can actually complete the entire Howling Pigs DLC in less than 30 minutes easily if you just focus on the objective. I try to find every single chest, etc. So, um, I think right now it is time to make some content to show you guys which enchantments you should focus on, which weapons, which armor are going to be the best. So, um, yeah, I am super excited. I'm very happy that we actually got the uh, Howling Pigs this early, or well, this early. We did wait a couple months after the Creeping Winter, but I think we're also going to get our hands on the seasonal trials for Christmas. I I know, I know, there is no information about it just yet, but um, I think it would be pretty logical if we can actually get our hands on seasonal trials uh, for Christmas as well. So, um, yeah, it's very, very awesome to see all the positive feedback in the comments section right now. Love the stream. Oh, that is so nice to hear. If you guys enjoyed watching this one, definitely make sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, it would be very awesome to have you subscribed as well because, man, oh man, there is so much content coming your way. Right now, yeah, it is 4 a.m. out. If you have some more questions, just leave them in the comment section. I will try to answer them as quick as possible. And um, yeah, right now, uh, it is just time to farm for some nice, sweet, epic new items. We found some common items we find some rares we find some uniques i think we don't have any new unique uh or new um, enchantments for bows but we saw pretty much all the artifacts dropping at this one so uh it is time to make some content for it guys right now it is really time to uh shut down the stream thank you so much for being here um i'll see you guys very soon till next time <laughs>